ever thought you knew the world of movies inside out? Guess again. We've unearthed a list of films so underrated, they're almost secret. From mind-bending dramas to hidden animated marvels, these movies didn't just miss the Oscar spotlight, they dodged the public eye entirely. And yet, they are cinematic gold. In this roller coaster ride, we're not just watching films, we're uncovering lost treasures. So, if you're ready to challenge everything you know about great cinema, you're in the right place. Don't miss a beat, hit that subscribe button now and join us on this extraordinary journey through the uncharted territories of film. Number 10. Leaving Las Vegas Leaving Las Vegas, released in 1995, is more than just a film. It's a raw and unsettling journey into the life of Ben Sanderson, a Hollywood screenwriter played by Nicolas Cage. The character, drowning in alcohol addiction, decides to end his life in Las Vegas. This film is an adaptation of a semi-autobiographical novel by John O'Brien, who sadly took his own life shortly after the film went into production. Nicolas Cage's portrayal won him an Oscar for Best Actor, a testament to his immersion into the character's troubled psyche. Elizabeth Shue co-stars as Sarah, a sex worker with her own complex story. Number 9. Waking Life Richard Linklater's Waking Life is a pioneering exploration of existential thoughts and dreams. Released in 2001, it's a melting pot of philosophical ideas, animated in an ethereal, flowing style known as rotoscoping. This technique, where animators trace over live-action footage, gives the film a dreamlike quality that perfectly complements its thematic content. The protagonist, played by Willie Wiggins, finds himself in a continuous lucid dream, encountering a series of philosophical discussions about consciousness, free will, and the meaning of life. What's remarkable is the film's narrative structure, or rather its lack of one. It's more of a stream of consciousness, with the protagonist drifting from one existential conversation to another. Number 8. Cleo from 5 to 7 Cleo from 5 to 7, directed by Agnes Varda in 1962, is a significant film in the French New Wave movement. It portrays two hours in the life of Cleo, a pop singer in Paris. As she awaits the results of a medical test that could confirm a cancer diagnosis, the film breaks away from conventional storytelling. It's shot almost in real time, and it's more about Cleo's internal journey than external action. Varda's approach to this narrative is groundbreaking, especially considering the era's filmmaking norms. The film skillfully captures the essence of Paris in the 1960s and serves as a vehicle for Cleo's transformation from a superficial, anxious individual to someone more introspective and aware of her surroundings. Number 7. Mishima – A Life in Four Chapters Paul Schrader's 1985 film, Mishima, A Life in Four Chapters, is a visually stunning and complex portrayal of Yukio Mishima, one of Japan's most controversial and celebrated authors. The film is as much an exploration of Mishima's psyche as it is a biography. Schrader chose a non-linear narrative, intertwining scenes from Mishima's novels with key moments from his life and his final day. What sets this film apart is its stylized visuals, with each of the novel segments having its distinct color palette and set design. Reflecting the tone and theme of Mishima's writings, Yukio Mishima was a complex figure, known for his nationalist and traditionalist views which contrasted sharply with post-war Japan's cultural direction. His life was as dramatic as his novels, culminating in a failed coup attempt and his subsequent ritual suicide. Number 6. Secrets and Lies Secrets and Lies, a film directed by Mike Lee in 1996, is a deep and touching exploration of family dynamics and hidden truths. The story centers around Ohtos, a successful black optometrist who decides to find her biological family. This leads her to a working-class white woman, Cynthia, her biological mother. The film is celebrated for its improvisational style, a trademark of Lee's directorial approach allowing the actors to bring a level of authenticity and spontaneity to their performance. Marianne Jean-Baptiste, who plays Ohtos, and Brenda Bleethen, playing Cynthia, deliver powerful performances that earn them widespread acclaim. The film navigates through themes of race, class, and family in a raw, unfiltered manner. It's a portrayal of ordinary people facing extraordinary revelations, and it's done in a way that's both heartfelt and real.
Number 5. Crumb The 1994 documentary Crumb, directed by Terry Zwickoff, provides an intimate and sometimes unsettling look into the life of Robert Crumb, a groundbreaking but controversial underground cartoonist known for his distinctive style and often provocative subject matter. Crumb's work reflects his cynical view of American society. This film goes beyond just showcasing his art. It delves into Crumb's personal life, particularly his troubled childhood, his upbringing under an authoritarian father, and the subsequent mental health struggles faced by his family are laid bare. The documentary also touches upon the lives of Crumb's brothers, Charles and Maxon, both of whom had their struggles and influenced Crumb's perspectives and art. Crumb is unflinching in its portrayal of the artist and his world. It doesn't shy away from the darker aspects of his life and psyche. Number 4. Au revoir les enfants. Au revoir les enfants, a film by Louis Malley, released in 1987, is set against the backdrop of Nazi occupied France. The story, inspired by Malley's own childhood experiences, revolves around a French boarding school where the headmaster, a priest, secretly shelters Jewish students. The film captures the essence of life under Nazi occupation, with German soldiers patrolling the streets and the omnipresent threat of discovery. However, it also portrays the innocence of childhood and the friendships that form in such trying times. The central relationship in the film is between a Jewish boy, Jean Bonnet, and his Catholic friend, Julian Quentin. Their friendship and their eventual revelation of Jean's true identity form the emotional core of the story. Malay's direction is subtle yet powerful, creating a poignant and realistic depiction of a dark period in history. Number 3. Wings of Desire Wings of Desire, directed by Wim Wenders in 1987, is a cinematic masterpiece that transcends the ordinary. Set in a still-divided Berlin, the film follows two angels, Damiel and Cassiel, as they invisibly watch over the city's inhabitants. Damiel, portrayed by Bruno Ganz, becomes deeply moved by the human experiences he observes and eventually falls in love with a trapeze artist named Marion. This love drives him to choose to become human, surrendering his immortality and ability to observe life in exchange for living it. The film is a visual feast, shot in both black and white in color, representing the different perspectives of angels and humans. The storyline weaves through various characters in Berlin, capturing moments of pain, joy, and the mundane aspects of daily life. Number 2. Woman in the Dunes Hiroshi Teshigahara's Woman in the Dunes, released in 1964, is a striking film adaptation of Kobo Abe's novel. The story is both simple and surreal. An entomologist, played by Eiji Okada, misses his bus home after a bug hunting trip and accepts the offer to stay overnight in a village. He finds himself trapped in a deep sandpit with a mysterious woman, played by Kyoko Kishida. The film is an allegory rich in symbolism, exploring themes of existentialism, isolation, and the human condition. The use of sand as a metaphor is powerful. It's everywhere, inescapable, and ever-shifting, much like the character circumstances and emotions. The cinematography is exceptional, turning the ever-present sand into a character of its own. Number 1. Decalogue Decalogue, a Polish film series directed by Krzysztof Kleślowski in 1989, is a profound exploration of moral and ethical dilemmas. This series of 10 one-hour films is inspired by the Ten Commandments, but it's far from a religious sermon. Each film is set in the same Warsaw apartment complex and delves into the complex moral choices faced by the residents. The stories range from deeply personal tales of love and loss to broader social commentaries. Kleszlowski doesn't provide easy answers. Instead, he invites the viewer to ponder the intricacies of human nature and morality. The series is notable for its psychological depth, narrative innovation, and the way it captures the Polish society of the time. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this cinematic expedition, show us some love with a like. Got thoughts or a hidden gem of your own? Drop a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. And remember, for more content that peels back the layers of the movie world, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.